No one moves a limb, a muscle, when Camilla passes. And that was because they were angry with Camilla. And not only that, Kate and William were angry too. The British royal family has long been a subject of intrigue, with whispers of alliances and silent feuds echoing through the grand halls of its ancient castles. In recent weeks, an alleged feud between Queen Camilla and the royal couple, Prince William and Kate Middleton, has reached a crescendo. According to some sources, Prince William may have taken a decisive stand, even leading Queen Camilla out of his residence after an uncomfortable confrontation and marking an unprecedented shift in family dynamics within the House of Windsor. Could this be a calculated step toward redefining roles within the monarchy? Join us as we delve into the tension, drama, and uncertainty surrounding this potential family rift. Growing tensions in the royal family. Tensions in the British royal family are nothing new, but this time the focus isn't on external threats or public perception. It's an internal matter. The alleged conflict between Queen Camilla and the royal couple, Prince William and Kate Middleton, has given the public a glimpse into the complicated dynamics at play behind palace doors. For years, the royal family has worked tirelessly to present a united front, masking any signs of discord. However, recent reports talk about subtle shifts in their public interactions, leaving royal watchers wondering, could this rift be as deep as it seems? Camilla, the wife of King Charles, has steadily taken on more visible roles in the monarchy. Once a figure marred by scandal, she now carries the title of queen and commands a respected position. But for the younger royals, especially William and Kate, the family's future rests on an evolution of roles, one that shifts focus from royal duty to personal well-being and relatability with the public. This divergence in vision between Camilla and the couple, as well as King Charles's preference of William and Kate over Camilla, mark the root of their alleged tension. Could it be that Camilla's traditional approach, emphasizing duty above all else, has stirred frustration in William and Kate, who see their royal roles differently? The growing disconnect between Camilla and the couple isn't just about public appearances. It's about the fundamental differences in what they believe the monarchy should represent. As Camilla embraces the traditional responsibilities of a queen, William and Kate seem more in step with the modernizing forces within the monarchy. This subtle clash of values has created a unique pressure on the royal family, the effects of which may soon become visible to the world. A subtle power shift in monarchy and Kate's health struggles. As the tension between the queen and the royal couple grew, Camilla's influence within the family seemed only to increase. Since King Charles ascended to the throne, Camilla's public visibility and influence have been more pronounced. She's often seen by Charles's side, attending royal engagements with renewed vigor and offering a strong, supportive image to the public. With this newfound authority, Camilla has reportedly become more assertive in her approach, making her expectations clear even if they clash with the views of William and Kate. Meanwhile, Kate Middleton's battle with cancer has taken a toll on her health and energy. For a figure so pivotal to the public's affection for the monarchy, Kate's absence from royal events has been deeply felt. The Duchess of Cambridge has been under doctor's care, following a strict regimen to ensure her recovery. Her focus is solely on regaining her strength, not on the demands of public duty. However, Camilla, who understands the value of public appearances, allegedly perceives Kate's prolonged absence as a problem for the monarchy's continuity. Reports suggest that she sees Kate's role as indispensable and feels that the institution benefits from her presence and charm. It seems that Camilla has expressed her desire for Kate to rejoin public life sooner, regardless of the challenges she faces with her health. Camilla's ambition versus William's family-centric approach the divergence in priorities between Camilla and William only grew sharper as the months wore on. Apart from their rift due to a shift in power within the monarchy, their distinct visions have paved the way for this royal clash. Camilla's ambition for a traditional monarchy is rooted in her loyalty to royal duty, but this vision doesn't fully align with the younger generation's approach. Where Camilla envisions a monarchy that upholds age-old customs, William and Kate have been moving toward a more balanced, family-centered vision, especially as Kate's health remains a concern. For William, the line between royal duty and personal life has always been clear. 
His deep commitment to Kate and their children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, demonstrates the values he holds as a father and husband. Camilla, however, seems to hold a different view. With Charles's reign just beginning, she is motivated to ensure that the monarchy remains strong, visible, and engaged with the public. Camilla's ambition to uphold traditional duty has led her to encourage a return to more frequent public engagements, setting her on a direct collision course with William's family-first approach. This underlying difference in values, the pull between tradition and modernity, duty and compassion, adds complexity to their relationship, hinting at the deeper conflict that lies beneath the surface. The alleged disagreement between Camilla and William isn't simply a family matter. It's a reflection of the monarchy's evolving role in a changing world. The unannounced visit, Camilla's audacious request. Amidst these tensions, Queen Camilla reportedly made an unannounced visit to the royal couple's residence. Though her visit was initially framed as a casual discussion about upcoming royal events, it soon became clear that Camilla had an agenda. In the privacy of their home, she took the opportunity to make a rather audacious request, one that seemed to disregard the sensitive nature of Kate's recovery. According to insiders, Camilla expressed her belief that Kate's absence from public duties was creating a void that needed to be filled sooner rather than later. She reportedly emphasized the significance of the monarchy's public image, stressing that every senior royal's presence was needed to maintain its strength. Additionally, Camilla noted that the ongoing speculation around Kate's absence was not beneficial for the royal family's reputation. Her words, though perhaps intended to be encouraging, carried an edge, implying that Kate's recovery should take a back seat to her role as a public figure. Kate was caught off guard by this sudden push. Her health was far from perfect, and her doctors had recommended minimal stress and limited activity. This visit was meant to be a supportive exchange between family members, not an imposition of expectations. However, Camilla's persistence added an unexpected layer of pressure, and Kate found herself in an uncomfortable position, feeling as though her dedication to the monarchy was being questioned. William, who had been a quiet observer throughout much of Camilla's visit, was not as patient this time. As Camilla's tone became more assertive, the atmosphere shifted. It became evident that a confrontation was imminent, with William prepared to defend his wife's health against what he perceived as an unreasonable demand. The confrontation, Prince William escorts Camilla out. As Camilla's insistence escalated, the tension in the room became palpable. Prince William had tolerated enough. He was now caught between two powerful figures in his life, his wife, who needed him to protect her health, and Camilla, a senior royal with an agenda against his wife due to personal insecurities. It was at this moment that William took an unprecedented stand, bringing the visit to a sudden halt. According to some sources, William turned to Camilla and, in a composed yet resolute tone, expressed his views on Kate's recovery. Together, it seems he and Kate had come to a subtle yet unmistakable decision. We kick her out. Without raising his voice, William reportedly made it clear that his loyalty was firmly with his wife and family not with the expectations of the monarchy. The scene that unfolded next was one of quiet resolve. William is said to have escorted Camilla to the door, a phrase that would soon become symbolic of his unyielding commitment to Kate's well-being. He stood his ground, sending a message that his wife's health was non-negotiable. As Camilla left, the rift between them had deepened, an undeniable mark of William's choice to prioritize family over royal duty. This confrontation sent ripples throughout royal circles, stirring conversations about the future of the monarchy and the power dynamics within the family. Some might see William's actions as a bold declaration of loyalty, while others viewed it as a breach of traditional duty. Regardless of perspective, this incident left an indelible impression on the monarchy's direction and William's role as both a husband and future king. The fallout. Is Camilla sidelining? In the days following the confrontation, Whispers about Queen Camilla's alleged sidelining began to gain more traction in both royal circles and the media. What had started as a private family matter now seemed to be evolving into a much larger narrative, as speculations surfaced that Camilla's influence within the royal family might be diminishing despite her promotion to Queen Consort. Was this the monarchy's subtle way of addressing the tension, or simply a case of media speculation blowing the event out of proportion? 
Among palace insiders, discussions took on a life of their own, as some claimed that Camilla's position within the royal family hierarchy had indeed been altered in the wake of her clash with Prince William. Those close to the family alleged that this confrontation had brought long-standing tensions to the surface, leading to a potential recalibration of roles. While Camilla had worked tirelessly to gain public acceptance and earn her place beside King Charles, William and Kate's popularity, combined with their modern approach, seemed to be tipping the scales. Supporters of the royal couple viewed this fallout as a natural progression within the monarchy, a sign that the institution was evolving to reflect contemporary values. For them, William's decision to protect his family over yielding to traditional demands was an admirable shift, showcasing a monarchy that put compassion above duty. On the other side, loyalists to Queen Camilla saw the situation differently. Many believed Camilla's commitment to her role as queen had been unfairly overshadowed by a single incident. In the public eye, the question remained, was this alleged sidelining a signal of William and Kate's ascent or a temporary reaction to a private family disagreement? The fallout, filled with intrigue and divided loyalties, left the nation pondering the future of Queen Camilla's influence and the larger implications for the royal family. King Charles's role in the family tensions. Outwardly, King Charles has maintained a calm, neutral stance on the rumored discord between Queen Camilla and the royal couple. As monarch, he's been careful to preserve the royal family's image, prioritizing diplomacy and restraint rather than adding to speculation. His silence has left many wondering where he truly stands on the matter, especially given the growing media focus on Camilla's role and William's protective stance toward Kate. Yet, according to sources close to the palace, Charles's actions may speak louder than his silence. Behind the scenes, he has reportedly aligned himself with William and Kate, quietly supporting their modern vision of the monarchy. Insiders claim that Charles has, perhaps intentionally, eased Camilla's involvement in certain royal duties, allowing William and Kate to step forward as the new faces of the monarchy. While Camilla still attends high-profile events alongside Charles, her influence within the royal family's inner workings may be more limited than it appears. For Charles, this approach might serve two purposes. On one hand, supporting William and Kate's increased public roles ensures the monarchy's future appeal to the younger generation. On the other hand, outwardly remaining neutral preserves the family's unity in the public eye, projecting stability and control even as the private dynamics shift. His quiet alignment with William and Kate reflects an understanding that, as the monarchy enters a new era, it must adapt to evolving public expectations. Though his loyalty to Camilla is unquestionable, Charles may also recognize that William and Kate's popularity is an invaluable asset. This potential behind-the-scenes alignment allows him to strengthen the monarchy's long-term future while avoiding any public divide. For now, Charles's silent diplomacy remains an enigma, suggesting a careful balancing act between his wife and the next generation of royals. Public perception, a divided royal audience. As the dust from the incident settled, public opinion on the matter quickly split, with various factions offering differing views on the royal rift. The British public has long been invested in the lives of the royals, seeing them as symbols of continuity and tradition. For some, the situation represented an uncomfortable departure from the expected stoic front the family usually displayed, while others saw it as a humanizing element that made the royals more relatable. Supporters of William and Kate took to social media, celebrating the prince's protective stance toward his wife. To them, his actions showed that he wasn't just a future king, but a husband and father willing to prioritize his family's well-being over the expectations of the monarchy. These supporters praised the couple for embodying a more compassionate, modern approach to royalty, one that reflected the values of a society increasingly focused on mental health and personal well-being. William's actions resonated with many, who saw him as a refreshing departure from the more traditionalist views of duty held by elderly royals like Camilla. However, supporters of Queen Camilla voiced a different perspective. For them, Camilla's insistence on Kate resuming her duties reflected her loyalty to the institution and her understanding of the monarchy's importance. In their view, her push wasn't about undermining Kate's health, but rather about ensuring the strength of the institution she had worked so hard to support. 
They argued that Camilla's role in upholding the monarchy's stability was often misunderstood, and that her actions were rooted in a genuine belief in the responsibilities that come with a royal title. News outlets around the world picked up on this division, amplifying the debate and bringing the issue to the forefront of the public's mind. For the monarchy, this split in public perception was telling. On one side, there were those who valued tradition and continuity, and on the other, a growing faction who wanted to see a monarchy that adapted to the realities of modern life. The conversations about the incident continued to highlight the delicate balance the monarchy must strike between tradition and progress. As public debates raged on, the royal family remained tight-lipped, each member aware that their actions were being watched and scrutinized. The public's response reflected the challenges of preserving a centuries-old institution in a world that was rapidly changing. The monarchy's future, it seemed, lay not only in maintaining the loyalty of its traditional supporters, but also in appealing to a new generation that looked to William and Kate as symbols of compassion, integrity, and modernity within the royal structure. Camilla's response and resilience. While speculation about her alleged sidelining dominated headlines, Queen Camilla, in true royal fashion, carried on with her duties. Known for her ability to rise above adversity, Camilla approached this rumored incident with grace and resilience, staying focused on her role beside King Charles. Despite the brewing family tensions, Camilla appeared at public engagements with her usual composure showing no signs of letting the incident with William affect her commitment to the monarchy. Camilla's resilience has been a defining trait throughout her time in the royal family. Having endured decades of public scrutiny and criticism, her dedication to her role has never wavered. For Camilla, the monarchy is not merely an institution, it's a calling that transcends personal conflicts. This mindset has allowed her to navigate the challenges of royal life with grace, focusing on her duties rather than dwelling on internal family matters. If Camilla was indeed experiencing a lessened influence following the confrontation, she gave no outward indication of concern. Observers speculated that Camilla's calm response to the incident might be a strategic decision. By carrying on as usual, she signaled that her loyalty to the monarchy remained unshaken. Some royal experts suggested that this was Camilla's way of reaffirming her position within the family quietly asserting that she was here to stay, regardless of any alleged internal friction. Her calm demeanor served as a reminder of her steadfast commitment to King Charles and her role as Queen Consort. William and Kate's increasing role in the monarchy. While Queen Camilla quietly maintained her role, the prominence of Prince William and Kate Middleton only seemed to increase in the wake of the confrontation. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have long been beloved figures within the royal family, and their popularity has only grown as they continue to represent a more modern face of the monarchy. In recent years, they've championed causes such as mental health, children's welfare, and environmental sustainability, issues that resonate deeply with a younger, progressive public. Following the incident with Camilla, many speculated that William and Kate's roles were being expanded in a way that subtly shifted the royal focus toward the next generation. It wasn't just about public appearances, it was about a vision of the monarchy that emphasized empathy, openness, and a closer connection to the public. For supporters of the couple, this was the monarchy's future, a future where compassion and relatability were as valued as tradition and protocol. King Charles, who has long been aware of the shifting public mood, seems to understand the importance of his son and daughter-in-law's roles. In recent months, he has placed William and Kate at the forefront of royal duties, perhaps as a strategic move to secure the monarchy's long-term appeal. By empowering them to take on more visible roles, Charles appears to be bridging the gap between tradition and modernity, positioning William and Kate as symbols of the monarchy's evolution. For the public, this increasing visibility of William and Kate is a welcome shift. Many see the couple as relatable figures, parents balancing their royal responsibilities with the everyday realities of family life. Their approach to royal duties feels fresh and accessible, embodying a version of royalty that resonates with people of all backgrounds. The incident with Camilla, though unplanned, has highlighted the natural appeal of William and Kate's approach, reinforcing their importance to the monarchy's future. As William and Kate continue to rise, the public can sense a transition in progress, 
a monarchy in the making that reflects both the heritage of the past and the hopes of a modern world. Their increasing role within the royal family signals a change, one that speaks to the enduring adaptability of the institution, even in the face of internal challenges and shifting societal expectations. Will peace be restored? Hopes for a reconciliation. The alleged fallout between Queen Camilla and the royal couple has left many wondering if peace can ever be restored within the family. For centuries, the British monarchy has demonstrated resilience through countless trials, and this moment of tension is no exception. Yet, with such strong personalities at play, Camilla's devotion to tradition, William and Kate's modern outlook, the question of reconciliation becomes more complex. There is hope, however, that this confrontation might ultimately lead to a renewed understanding between the generations. The monarchy, while often perceived as unyielding, has always evolved in response to societal changes, and this internal discord could be an opportunity for growth. Many royal watchers speculate that this could open the door to clearer communication between the family members, fostering a more collaborative approach that respects both tradition and the needs of a new era. Sources close to the family indicate that efforts toward reconciliation are quietly underway. Charles, in particular, is believed to be encouraging family unity, recognizing that the monarchy's stability relies on a harmonious front. His understanding of both Camilla's and William's perspectives could serve as a bridge, allowing the family to come together in a way that respects each member's role while preserving the monarchy's strength. For the public, this potential reconciliation represents the hope that, despite internal conflicts, the royal family remains united in its dedication to service. The confrontation may have stirred tension, but it has also highlighted the importance of communication, compassion, and respect within the family. In a way, this moment of tension could serve as a reminder that the monarchy, like any family, must adapt to endure, finding unity in diversity and strength in understanding. Lessons learned public duty versus family well-being. The confrontation between Queen Camilla and Prince William brings forth a powerful lesson for the monarchy and for the public watching. This incident has cast a spotlight on the delicate balance between public duty and personal well-being, a theme that resonates far beyond the walls of Buckingham Palace. William's decision to prioritize Kate's health over the demands of tradition underscores a shift in values that many see as necessary for a modern world. In the past, royal duty often came at the expense of personal happiness, a reality that previous generations accepted as part of the role. But as society's understanding of mental and physical well-being grows, so too does the expectation for royals to reflect these values. William's stance sends a message. Compassion and loyalty to family are as vital as commitment to the crown. This nuanced approach hints at a monarchy that values its members' well-being recognizing that a healthy, unified family is a more relatable and resilient one. For Queen Camilla, the incident may serve as a reminder of the complexities within the institution she holds dear. Her commitment to duty is unquestionable, but this confrontation may lead her to view William and Kate's perspective with greater empathy. As the family reflects on the lessons learned from this experience, there is an opportunity for each member to find a deeper understanding of the balance between duty and compassion. Ultimately, the royal family's strength lies in its ability to adapt. This incident, while challenging, underscores the monarchy's resilience in the face of change, highlighting a version of royalty that is not only dedicated to public service, but also values the humanity of its members. 